You keep talking about what happened to you and your family in the 1930s when the Nazis are in, in control. Why is it important for you to, to be that voice, to keep telling people? Because the truth is important. Real history is important. It's important to know what terrible things can happen, that they did happen, and to prevent them happening again. Because hatred is a continuing thing and hatred keeps being displaced. And unfortunately, it's mostly displaced on Jews. It should have been this one awful event that ended that sort of hate forever. It must be depressing then to see when young people are attracted to uh, ha a hateful ideology, far-right ideology, uh, as if we, we're going to repeat because history. I mean, how does that feel when you see people falling into it? They're not the falling into it, again. they're choosing it. Yeah. But I, I know it's called displacement. You cannot, you must not, you dare not hate your parents or be angry at them. So you displace the anger at what is officially considered okay, the Jews. Anti-Semitism is not considered a nasty thing. Anti-Semites are sometimes even proud of hating us. But it's not something to be to say, oh my God, you're an anti-Semite? Like say, my God, you're a communist, you're a Democrat? No, anti-Semitism is not considered an illness or not considered a terrible thing that you have to be ashamed of. And until that happens, they're going to keep blaming us because you have to blame somebody.